My name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Gen Con 2014. I'm sitting down with Louis Sylvester. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's and, nice to be here. Yeah, you brought us a, another Asmodee game here. That's Lords right. Lords of Zidit. Lords of Zidit, which is a uh, repurposing uh, of the old game Himalaya. Uh, this is set in the same universe as Seasons. Um, but it's basically the same game. For those of you who don't know how it runs, I'll kind of run through it. What you're trying to do is uh, move around this board and in the process you'll be gathering gold. We have the gold coins, you'll be gathering, uh, you'll be placing towers out onto the board and you'll also be putting uh, influence tokens out on the board. And the reason you're doing this is you're trying to uh, become the most balanced and, and, and best in each of those three mm -hmm. things. The victory conditions are actually shuffled at the start of the game and put down. And the way they play out is whatever's in this one slot, whoever does the worst job loses. Then whoever does the worst job of the remaining players in the two slot loses. And then in the three slot, whoever does the best is the ultimate winner. <laughs> Uh, I, I tend to drop out in the first slot. I don't know why that happens. Every time I've played, I've, I've missed something. Um, the way that you gather these things, again, is by moving your person around from city to city. In cities like this, uh, you are going to be able to gather and recruit soldiers, where these are recruit. Cities like this, you can spend those soldiers to defeat monsters and get rewards. But the fun part about this is you're going to use these uh, programming. So I'm going to move this city here so we can actually lay it right out here in the All middle right. of the board so we can zoom so in again. So this is nice a, a kind of programming thing. And what you'll do is you can set uh, your six moves. And you'll use a little arrow to help you keep track. So if I'm here, my first move, if I said black, I would have to move. Well, let's do a different color. If I said red, I would move down a red path, mm -hmm. and you have to. If you say blue, you move down a blue path. If you say X, you sit for that turn. If you do green, you'll do an action. So the action on this is try to defeat the monster. The action here is take a, a unit. And then, of course, black road. So you'll set all six of these before, you know, at, at the same time. All players will set what they're planning on doing and then you start moving and everyone will say, okay, it's, well, it's one. one, so I do black, I move down the black. And then every, you do one, one, one. Then you say, okay, turn two, I did an action, so I take the smallest person, I put it here behind my screen. The next is red, I move down here, and, and so on. But what will happen, the next person who goes here gets a slightly better soldier. You always start with the weakest soldier and you move on to better. And then here you need to have exactly the the soldiers printed. So in this case, it'd be an orange soldier and a gray soldier, and then you could defeat that guy. What is fun about this, though, is once you set your program, those are your six steps. So if I have programmed to go here and defeat this guy, so step three, I move to red. But say that the green player is one step ahead of me, and on step three, they defeated this. Step four, I do the action to kill the monster. There's nothing there. Yeah. And so part of the fun of this game is setting your program, thinking you have a great plan, and then <laughs> watching it fall apart turn <laughs> after turn. Um, you do these six, six steps for a turn, which is, counts as a year. At the end of the fourth, you will all reveal your various armies um, and receive rewards Bonuses, for having yeah. the maximum. You'll do another four years, again reveal armies, Another four years, reveal armies, and then at the end of that, you'll take all of your rewards and you'll compare. And again, if you're the worst, you're out. The worst, you're out. The best, you win. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I've, I think that we laugh at least once or twice per game <laughs> at somebody who thought they had the best plan ever, and because somebody didn't do something that was anticipated, you end up just spinning your wheels for an entire Aww. turn. It can be really frustrating, but it can be fun too. Um, there's some little intricacies in, as to how you place these down and so forth, and you can pick that up by reading the book, but the rule book, but it's just a lot of fun. One of my better games for this Gen Con. <laughs> now, I have one quick question before we wrap up. So, in this uh, sort of double elimination here for you have for your win yes. conditions, now does this play down to two players? 
I do not think so. Three to five is what uh, you're going to play. Then that would answer my question of what if you had two players and they both got eliminated. And I worry that if it were down to two, um, yeah, that's true. That would happen. <laughs> oh, if it done. were down to two, you wouldn't get in each other's way to, as much. I was much. looking to see if I could find that little amount yeah. of players. <laughs> the more players, because we played with five uh, when I played it on my first night here, and we had a ball because everyone was just messing with everyone else. A lot also has to do with turn order. So this passes from round to round. And so if you're first to go, you know that you can get to that monster, perhaps. But if you're third in turn order, will they go there or won't they? And you have to kind of gamble on whether or not you should make a move. Right. So I think that's where the, this is one of those games that's surprisingly easy to pick up. After you've done one round, you're like, I've got this game. I mean, honestly, even just now, we for sure this wasn't over, you went on teaching, but I feel like I've got the, more than the gist of you how to get going. You absolutely could. You absolutely could. I mean, you'd have to pick up a few things like, you know, when you complete one of these, it goes out, and then a monster comes in, and you just put it wherever the number says, so city 16. That's, I mean, rules like that that are so easy to easy, pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great uh -huh. game. Something to check out. Lords is in it. Lords is in it. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you. Thank you so much.